Liam, congratulations, a fantastic performance, another big win away from home. How happy is that dressing room right now? Uh, very happy, really delighted. Uh, we know the game, um, last game at Maidenhead, obviously at home, was uh, a bit of a blip for us considering the standards we've set ourselves throughout the season, especially in terms of being solid and sort of not conceding goals. And um, I think we sort of, between us all, had a small point to prove today. Um, we've put massive sort of thing around the changing room to remain calm and you know we're not under pressure and things like that and uh, what will be will be and just go about our jobs really well and I think you probably saw that today to every single man that the basics were done better than the other side, desire was higher than the other side and um, they're the foundations that really put you on to, to go and put on performances like that. The game almost felt similar to exactly what the Wrexham was like you know we, we didn't quite get to grips with the first 10 and They've got some excellent players for this level. It's a great team, a good manager. Um, so we knew it was going to be in for a difficult test and we just quite, didn't quite get to grips with it the first 10, but then obviously distances between ourselves and shape and sort of organisation came through and uh, you know we look like a real solid side out there. So that's the most pleasing aspect of the whole, whole performance. Of course, everyone will want to talk about the goals, but defensively, it's another clean sheet for you. You're coming up against probably one of the best strikers in the National League in, in Shimanga. So to, to keep them so quiet for 90 minutes says a lot about the confidence of the team right now. Yeah, and, and that's right. You know, he's a great player. Um, he was a handful when we played him at home. He's been a handful um, in the first early stages of this game. And um, the good thing is, is you know, when you're in a professional outfit and you're full time, you spend a lot of time doing analysis and you. You sort of look at players that you're coming up against. You know, you don't go into anything blind, and uh, you see their attributes and what their strengths are, and you're working and sort of nullifying them. And um, I think between sort of myself, Ash, and JJ so far in, the, in this little run we've had, um, we've really took on board all the information that the staff's been giving us, and um, little exercises, little drills that we're doing after training about you know things like just stepping in, and nicking the ball. We saw today, Ash and myself. It takes the pressure off the side, and especially the side that looks to build like they did, and. Um, I think the boys in front of us trust us to lock things off and we then just sort of say to the boys in front, look, we, we know we've got the quality, we know we've got the goals at the minute, um, go and do your thing and, and it's collectively come together so nicely and um, we're not going to get too ahead of ourselves, um, results have been okay today but you know we've got seven games and it's sort of a seven, seven game mini league table now and we want to finish at the top of that and see where that gets us. Another goal for, for your centre back uh, partner Ash Palmer as well. I suppose every, you must feel confident as a centre back every time James Jennings goes to take a corner at the minute because his deliveries have been spot on lately. Yeah, it was probably the one thing we were sort of half missing at the start because we, we've been working on stuff and the ball wasn't quite dropping in the areas and sort of set piece goals were, were few and far between. And you know, since we've tied a, a couple of things up and obviously JJ's, you know, we know, we know he's quality. I've played against JJ in the past and you know, top top lads to have around the dressing room so. Um, they're the sort of things that you've got to do as a player when you look to the side of you and look in front of you. You've got to trust the players that are around you and their ability. You know the recruitment for this for this team has been unbelievable. So we've got to trust what's what's here and let the boys do you know what they're doing. And, and as you see, the confidence is flowing. Um, and, and there's probably no better person at the minute getting on the back stick than Nash Palmer. And you know, in terms of aerial battles and things like that, it, it, it's you know only going to end up one way really. I think so. Um, there's things that happen in, in the box and, and sort of positions that we take up that help that, but it's at the end of the day, it's the desire to get on the end of stuff, both boxes, clearances, and, and to a man, like I said, including the boys in, in wide areas and midfield, it helps us all get the clean sheet. So, uh, massive part of that for those. I've got to ask you about John Rooney as well. Has he ever scored a normal goal? I think they've got to stop the goal of the season contest now, haven't they? I think it's got <laughs> well, to come to an end. Adam Thomas. I think there's only Tomo in there. Uh, well, we're all going to wind him up anyway and say Tomo wins. Um, but yeah, unbelievable, and his technique. Yeah, he's, he's he's picked out some you know magic moments for us, you know, out of the blue, and um, especially in around that area where you know just outside the 18-yard box. As soon as he shapes up, we get a great view of it at the back, and you can only tell it's only going to go in. So um, that's the extra added quality of you know, on top of us being solid found foundations, the extra quality of that, and you know things like Maka and his desire to get past people and. You know, like you've seen the goal at Wrexham where he sprints up the pitch and um, Tommy Walker's obviously covering a position that he hasn't sort of played as much and, and his desire to do well in that and that's what you get, a collective team effort. The boys, you know, who didn't even play today, as soon as you come off the pitch, high fives to you and, you know, so supportive and that's the atmosphere that, you know, a good successful club needs and we've got that so it's great. 11 games unbeaten now, you've closed the gap on the top three again, you can move to win two points of Hartlepool with a win on Tuesday. How, what? How confident are the lads right now of, of 
pushing on into that top three and, and maybe even top one? Yeah, we know we've got to finish strong. We, we know that uh, there's a bit to make up and we know that there's obviously only a few games a few games to go and um, each game is the old cliche of it's going to be tough. We know how tough in spells the Kings Lynn game was last um, to a point, so we know we can't take anything for granted. But I think, you know, when I've been at teams before that have been in sort of those positions that push on for, for promotions and, and success is that you look around and you've got a real belief um, that every single person in there believes as well that we're going to go on this journey that might get us to a position where you know we can get Stockport back into the Football League and although we're not getting ahead of ourselves you know we're just going to quietly go about our business and and see what happens and that starts again now a recovery long trip home um, and then back in back in Monday and, and ready to prepare for, for what's going to be our next toughest test so really looking forward to the running it's what I thrive on it's what I know a lot of the boys that have been in and around it thrive on and I hope we see the best of you know the squad that we've got because I, I predict that it's going to be uh, it's going to be really close. Liam, well done today. Thank, Thank you very much. Sir. Appreciate it.